Scott and Lisa, while some people were forced to leave their homes here on Leggett Street after flooding back in 2023, others were able to stay and rebuild. But with this heavy rainfall expected to hit Lackawanna County tomorrow, those residents tell us that they're afraid to lose everything again. It all shrubs out the front. I lost all them. I lost everything. Diane Carroll was one of the dozens of people along Leggett Street in Scranton whose homes were flooded during severe storms in September of last year. I let it go on all night mm -hmm. and then I had people come the next day to help me. While changes have been made around her neighborhood to better control the chance of flooding, Carroll says it's not enough, especially with the expected rain coming from Tropical Storm Debbie. That drain is filled, the one at the top of West Market, and then this is Loop and Leggett's. That's filled, right? And then the water has nowhere to go. At the Scranton Fire Department headquarters, Chief John Judge says every department in the city has been preparing. A lot of planning, a lot of uh, interdepartmental meetings right now. We'll probably have one of our final ones today at 2 o'clock just to dial everybody in on uh, what we're going to, what needs to be done and what uh, gaps need to be filled. From clearing storm drains to making sure rescue teams are ready, Judge says work has been happening throughout the week and will continue until the area is in the clear. The problem with a storm like this is there's a lot of uncertainty. You know, we're only uh, about a day away, but you know, there's some modeling that shows not a lot of impact, but we have to be prepared for that modeling that shows that there's a potential for a great impact. For now, all the residents like Carol can do is wait. I just, there's not much I can do other than watch my basement. In case we do see severe flooding like we did back in 2023, Chief Judge says that a disaster declaration can be signed into order that would bring more manpower into several departments throughout the city and contracted assistance to come in and help with recovery efforts. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16, live in Scranton.